What's up on my talks? I make games, play games, and everything in between. And fog can add a lot of depth into your game. I'm gonna show you how to create fog in Buildbox. Here you can see there's fog, and it just looks cool. It's in the background. It helps. Oops, it helps bring into light the objects that are in the back but in a very smooth and subtle way. When you're playing a game, you don't want to immediately see what's coming. With fog, you don't have to. As you can see, there's multiple cool colors to help enable the fog effect. To enable fog, what you do is you go to the world and you select this checkbox. Here's the world with no fog. And it's just not as cool. Like you can see everything and I'm not impressed. When you select fog, you'll have start distance and the end distance. This is something you definitely want to play around with. If I change it to 1000, 2000, how it looks different. See, there's so much fog, you can't even see what's going on. This is too much fog. So you go in and then you just change it to 2000 to 3000. To me, this is a little bit heavy, but if you find that you like a certain fog level, then that's what you want to keep. And next, let's take a look at 3000 to 4000. So you can see a little bit more of the world map. And then take a look at 4000 to 5000. This basically doesn't even have any fog, even though we have the fog enabled. And that's how you set up fog in your build box game. Very easy, I highly recommend it. Be sure to adjust where the fog begins and ends because this will affect your processing power and how smooth the game runs on your phone. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, let me know if you're working on a game. Till next time. Peace.